I had to prep my trailer so I can put primer on it and then some coats of paint. So I got out my angle grinder with my sanding disc. This is the only primer they sell in the hardware stores around here, so this is what I used. I put on two coats of primer on everything. For the paint, I used the Lotus brand Paint X and Flat Black. I put on about four coats of paint, so two coats of primer and four coats of flat black paint. I just got my trailer back from the welder. I sanded everything down, primered it with a couple of coats, and then put on about four coats of paint. I brought my own wheels to them. These are just 16 inch wheels, but I made that wheel well big enough to put a 20 inch wheel in. You see I hadn't put tie downs on it. It's going to be for when I take my kayak or I put anything else in here. So I can put anything I want in the trailer itself. I have enough crossbars in here so nothing falls out. I could put a wood floor if I want to. I've got tie downs on the back here too, which is cool. This thing's built pretty heavy duty. Even got braces here. So from the actual cart all the way to the tongue, I've got three braces there, two more tie downs here, two more tie downs in the front. Then I got this part from Lazada and I also bought the ball from Lazada too. So I've got an eight millimeter pin here. You can put a trailer hitch lock if you want to. So check it out. So this is the rest of the trailer that I had made here. This is adjustable. There's just a bolt going through there right now. But I'm going to drill a couple more holes in here so you can raise this up or down. I bought the ball from Lazada. It's cool. It's actually got a retaining pin. So even if that bolt came loose, this wouldn't fall off. And then the bracket is custom for my Honda XR150. It bolts up on the back here where my luggage rack bolts onto. It's reinforced here and throughout here. And the bar comes up and bolts in two more places here. So this thing is super solid. That's where the foot pegs bolt onto. Here's the other part. You can see that's where the foot pegs bolt onto. So this is 100% custom made just for me. And I will be towing my kayak, maybe even a small boat, or whatever I want to put in there. So to hook it on, because it's a ball, just slides on, pull the lever, flip it down into place, and then make sure that doesn't move. So I've just put my pin, slide it through, clamp it on, that way that can't accidentally open. I could put a trailer lock here if I want to also. And I can put a trailer lock down here. That way nobody can take anything. But uh, because it's a ball, as the motorcycle moves back and forth, it just rotates with the ball. As the motorcycle moves up and down, it rotates this way too. So there it is. From the trailer hitch, the tongue is about five feet long. The basket's almost three feet long. And about 26 inches wide. The wheel well stick out about another five or six inches. And there it is, my new trailer. Let me throw my kayak on it. Let's see what it looks like with the kayak on it. Oh, I'll also be able to throw uh, scuba diving tanks in here, gear, equipment, anything else that I want to take with me when I go to the beach. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So here it is guys, the Honda XR150. 
with a custom brass. This custom trailer, my front rack, and saddlebag racks were made by the mechanic slash fabricator at MB's Garden Inn in Lapu Lapu City, also known as Outsider Motorcycle Club. They do repairs and custom work to motorcycles. Check them out. If you liked this video, click like and subscribe.